I'm Maggie Barkley, Bloomfield Township Senior Services Fitness Coordinator, and this is Becca Smith, Assistant Fitness Coordinator. Today we're going to give you some tips and techniques on how to properly and safely do a plank. Okay? Uh, they're super important to strengthen our core, and of course core is going to help us with balance and everyday activities, so you want to make sure you always have a strong core, and when you do this uh, plank work, you want to be safe and we'll show you modifications as well. So first I'm going to show you the two basic planks and then we'll break them down a little bit. So I'm going to have Becca go ahead and get on her belly on the floor and we're going to start with the forearm plank. So she's going to place her forearms to the mat, her elbows are going to be directly under her shoulders and she's going to take her toes down onto the floor and now she's just going to lift herself up in the center. So you see how she's nice and straight, she's going to lift this core up good Head is neutral, so this is a forearm plank. Beautifully done. And then we're gonna go ahead and have her come up into a full arm plank. So hands are coming under the shoulders. Notice how she keeps that nice straight element of her body. So she's embracing her core and keeping a nice strong position. So those are two perfectly beautiful planks. So go ahead and relax, Becca. So I'm gonna show you a couple different options here. So coming from the full plank, we're gonna show you how you can modify that. So go ahead and come back into the full plank and I'm surprising Becca with this. She doesn't know what I'm gonna tell her to do. I'm gonna have her go ahead and put her knees down, but don't release her core. Did you see that? Perfectly done. She kept her core still. Now lift your heels off the floor, or your heels and toes off the floor towards your glutes. So there's a little bit more tightness. She's gonna lift up in here, keep that all tight. So that takes some of the weight bearing off your arms, but you're still, you still feel tightness there, right? Mm -hmm. So there's still tightness going on in her core for that. So that's a good way to modify the full plank. Or she could even come down to her forearms here as well, keeping her knees down, but notice her core didn't change. Her butt didn't come up in the air, and she didn't drop her core. So many people will stick, stick, drop their core. I always say, don't be a hammock, or their butts come up in the air. This is still hard work right here, so she's, she's working it right now. So go ahead and rest, Becca. So sometimes when you're doing planks, you're going to feel some wrist work. So you want to really try to embrace into your core to, to take that all that weight bearing off the wrist. You want to engage your shoulder blades slightly to help support those arms. You also want to push back through your heels and up through the top of your head. Another option for wrist is going to be you're going to take weights or something that will not roll. These hopefully will work. And when you come up, go ahead and come up into full plank. So once again, hands are directly on the shoulders. So it helps to neutralize the wrists here a little bit. So sometimes that takes the pressure off your wrists. You wanna make sure that you're still keeping this core nice and tight so you get a little less pressure on those wrists, okay? Go ahead and rest, Becca. Another option is you could do these planks at a countertop, a chair braced on the wall sometimes that you can go progressively through the steps to go to a full plank. The last move that I'm gonna show you is called bear or some people call it crouching tiger. So she's gonna go ahead and put her hands down on the mat like she's gonna do a full plank. Now instead of coming into full plank, she's gonna come up like she did, right onto her toes. Slight lift of the knees. Now I want you to kind of shift back just a little bit. So it's like you're getting ready to pounce, right? So it's not easy, this is still hard, but it takes a little bit of the pressure off the wrist because you're pushing back towards your feet. Okay, so that's another option to work towards the core. Go ahead and rest. So, sometimes people think you have to hold a, a plank forever. You don't. You, you can start with five seconds, 10 seconds, rest. Five seconds, 10 seconds, rest. If you're holding a plank and you're not keeping literally the plank where I could set a water bottle on your body, then it's not beneficial. So hold for a few seconds, rest, hold again. That way you can build up to hold a little longer. We generally don't hold any longer than at the most a minute in our classes. But generally we'll hold for 30 and rest or whatever you can do in good form. Keeping good form is the most important thing. So I think that's about it for this little tip on techniques on planks. Thank you Becca for, for doing all of that. And uh, hopefully we'll be back on again soon with some more tips and techniques from the two of us. Have a beautiful day, come see us at the center. You can reach us at 248-723-3500. Bye, have a great day.